Well, happening this weekend, the Cincinnati Comic Expo is returning to the Tri-State, but it's going to be at a new location. So Matt is here this morning to tell us really more about what we can expect and a little bit about the change. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So uh, this is obviously a huge thing that comes back every year. You were saying typically every September, a lot of people look forward to this. There's a lot of momentum behind it. Tell us about this year and kind of the changes to it. Well, I mean, this is our 14th year, so we've yeah. been here for over a decade and yeah, people get used to us. We've been bringing in thousands of people. We're here to celebrate all aspects of pop culture, whether it be celebrities or video games and that type of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, as we've continued to grow and expand, yeah, we, we got very situated with the Duke uh, Energy Convention Center. Right. And with their renovations going on, we have to move. And so uh, we have a relationship with the folks up at Sharonville with some of our smaller shows. And so we'll be at the Sharonville Convention Center for the next two years. And again, we were just kind of talking during commercial break. It's just one of those things you just got to make it work because you still want to kind of give the people what, you know, what they want. So still tell us a little bit about it. It's going to be happening this weekend. Kind of walk us through it if, if folks are interested in, uh, in going up to Sharonville this weekend. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, we'll run through, sun, f excuse me, Friday, Friday through, through Sunday. Okay. Uh, tickets are available online on our website, uh, CincinnatiComicExpo.com. And so they can go get those. They can come on up. Uh, we have, uh, we'll be there all three days and we have uh, celebrities, we have exhibitors, we have uh, artists, we have the costume contest. Uh, we got all types of activities and uh, things going on and we got uh, plenty of uh, things for people to buy or see or do. Do you have something this year that like there's a particular exhibit or, a, you know, a celebrity guest who's going to be there, like a particularly big draw? I think that all depends on what your fandom is. Though, okay. Because we bring in a wide range of guests. Yeah. So we have Lee Majors coming in. So if you're a fan of the Six Million Dollar Man and Fall Guy, right. uh, we have Peter Weller who is RoboCop. We have eight people that have been on the X-Men animated series and X-Men 97. So if you're a, a fan of those cartoons, we got people that appeal to that. Right. We have uh, four people that have been on the Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett. So it all depends on what you're a fan of as to what you're going to be a draw, but that's sure. where we try to spur it out to try to celebrate all fandoms and all genres to pull in as many people as possible. Exactly. And so uh, for one more time for folks at home, if they're interested, where do they go to get tickets? Can they get them online? Can they buy them at the door? A little bit of both. We want them to buy them online okay. at CincinnatiComicExpo.com. We're okay. trying not to do at the door admissions so we can keep track of how many people we have that are participating with the size of the building. Makes sense. So, but they can, will be on, available online throughout the course of the weekend. So even if they want to wait, they can buy them in the parking lot. They'll okay. get their little codes emailed to them right away and then they can scan it right there at the door. Perfect. Well, yeah, again, that's happening uh, this weekend, the 18th through the 20th at Sharonville Convention Center. So it's going to be a little different this year. So, yeah, go ahead and check it out, Matt. Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time with us on the Morning Extra. It is 1028. We'll be right back right after this.